to variation is for when you get to the last F2L pair and it's in this attached case and all of your edges are oriented. So instead of inserting normally and doing the regular OLO, what winter variation does is it inserts the F2L pair slightly differently to force an OLO skip. There are almost 30 algorithms in winter variation and all of them actually have pretty easy algorithms. But the thing about winter variation is that it's kind of hard to recognize during an actual speed solve. So in this video, I'll be going through the ones that are actually more straightforward to recognize and therefore more practical to learn. So starting off with this case here, it's when you have the rectangle at the back and this corner sticker here at the front facing towards you. So it's actually a really easy case. This is when you insert regularly and you get the OLO skip. So uh, it's a pretty trivial case, but I thought it was worth mentioning. Now let's move on to some actual winter variation cases. So this one is once again, one of the easier ones as well. It's when you have these headlights pointing this direction. So to your right. Uh, so in this case, what you want to do is put the F2L pair at the back like this kind of like connecting these yellow stickers together and then insert with U2, like that. And that skips all of. So this is another uh, pretty interesting case. It's when everything on the last layer looks oriented and, but still, if you insert normally, you'll get the regular L-shaped all of. But in this case, we could do a simple algorithm to force an all of skip. So it starts off with an L prime U2 and just ignore everything else and pair uh, this F2O pair up normally and insert and then just undo the setup moves. So U2, L. So for this case, it's also got the rectangle at the back, but unlike the regular OLO skip case, this one has the yellow sticker here facing towards the right. So um, for this case, what you want to do is move the F2O pair over into this position and insert it in a slightly different way. So um, it starts off kind of like a sledgehammer. So there's the R prime, F prime, R. And before you do the final F prime, you want to do an inverse sexy here and then finish off with the F prime. So moving on to this case here, uh, it's when the corner at the back is not oriented and the yellow sticker is facing towards the right. So rather interesting algorithm for this one, but quite easy to remember as well. So it starts off with an R2D and then kind of imagine inserting this F12 pair into this position here like this and then undoing the setup moves. So D prime R2. So this case kind of similar to the previous one. However, instead of having the yellow sticker here, it's actually pointing at the back. So in this case, there's actually not a specific winter variation algorithm for it. Um, the best that there is, is to just insert this F2 pair normally and do this anti soon case. Like that. Next case is this one here, when you have this corner unoriented with the yellow sticker facing this side on the left hand side. And these two white and yellow stickers kind of form headlights. Uh, so in this case, once again, very straightforward algorithm. So before inserting this F2 pair, basically you just do a sexy move and then sets up to the rectangle case where you could just insert normally. Uh, so final case I want to talk about this one here. Once again, this corner at the back here, not oriented, but the corner sticker in this case is facing towards the back. So uh, for this case, what we want to do is move the F2 pair so that it's over here. And this is once again, very interesting algorithm. So it goes like this. So R U prime R prime U2, and then you repeat that again. So R U prime R prime U2, and this sets up this F2 pair for the regular R U R prime insert. So those were some of the easier winter variation cases to recognize. So if you're thinking about learning winter variation, I do recommend starting with these cases. And yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.